What's up guys, uh, Blogmars here with a uh, kind of new different video today, I'm going to see how this goes, um, we're playing some Yu-Gi-Oh tonight, I'm filming this at exactly midnight, so yay for late videos, but not really, um, this will probably come out as sort of a bonus video sometime over the weekend, uh, just sort of hold you guys over until Minecraft on Monday, so without further ado, uh, let's jump right in, if you're not really into Yu-Gi-Oh, that's cool, um, <coughs> You, know, you don't really have to be. Um, it is somewhat of an easy game to understand. Um, the problem is when you get a tryhard who either knows too much or just tries to play the game too much. And then that just overall gets annoying. Uh, starts off with a good old fashioned rock, paper, scissors, and of course I lose like an idiot. So he chooses who goes first and who goes second. Luckily, I still get to go second. I personally enjoy going second because that means I can draw a card. So we got a negate attack. Destiny Hero, Defender, Sacred Suit Armor, Familiar Knight, and Jute Fighter. I'm assuming if you want to read any of these cards and or their effects, you will pause the video and read all their effects. But I'll sort of like go over each one as he's making his first turn here. Alright, so we get to draw a card and we get Destiny Hero, Fearmonger. So, what I'm going to do on this first turn is I'm going to kind of set up a bit of a trap. So we're going to go ahead and literally set a trap. And then we can use Familiar Knight's effect on my on my turn on his turn to either special summon that guy or that guy. So I can go ahead and set him and end my turn. Uh, Jute Fighter, he's important because he's a tuner monster. You'll see why that's important in about a minute or so here, as this duel sort of gets underway. Um, he hasn't done much yet, so I don't know what he's got up his sleeve. I'm gonna go ahead and set this. This is just me to draw an extra card. Um, yeah, I don't know what he's got up his sleeve right now. Um, I can go ahead and set Defender. And, uh, we're looking pretty good so far. Um, go ahead and hit End Phase. And I think next turn, or the turn after, I'm gonna go ahead and Synchro Summon here. I'm just wondering what he has, uh, legitimately. Um, just kind of waiting to see what he does. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on. And then also if I draw another three star monster, I'll get that on the field and then Jude Fighter and then I'll sink for summon something else. Because I have plans for him to do, but you know it changes um depending on I don't know why he did that. Changes depending on what I draw right now. Now if I drew Marauding Captain, it'd be the perfect card. So I'm really hoping I draw that one. And he loses Yeah, he loses a lot of life points for that. Probably not that much. He's. I don't think he knows what he's doing, but I'll I'll, I'll roll with that. Creator. All right. Um, that's actually better than what I was thinking. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this and end my turn, and then I can actually tribute two of these monsters and grab Creator and put him on the field. He doesn't read my card effects. That's good for me because you can see he would be able to draw an extra card um, because that's face up. Uh, that's why you have a 2700 defense on a regular like level 4 monster card. You have to have sort of a trade off like that in order for balance and so that's not too overpowered. Again, really curious as to what the hell that face down is. Um, tricky effect in hand. Not sure what he means by that, but we're about to find out looks like. Okay, so he just sent something to the graveyard. Alright, special summon that. And resonator monsters in my grave is graveyard. I mean, um, add one level monster from your deck to your hand if you do turn those targets to the deck. Okay. So he's gonna return two more to his um deck. So basically, it's like he's got none in there. And then, I don't know what he's going to do after that. I have something behind it, right? Yep. So he's going to attack. He's going to attack that one. Unfortunately, I don't. I can't have that one destroyed right now. So I'm going to use Sakuratsu Armor on him. I'm going to go ahead and destroy him. Um, I really did not need Fearmonger destroyed. <laughs> that was the last one I needed destroyed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm 
Um, yeah, we can get Gaia. So I'll normal summon him. And then I can actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip him into attack mode. And I'm gonna actually attack the face down with Familiar Knight. That way if it's any weird effect, um it won't get triggered. Okay. If you sing or summon monster Okay, so nothing weird, um, just a zero zero monster that's kind of annoying. So I am going to. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know why he just did that. Um, okay. You go, man. You continue being your basically stupid self. I'm gonna go ahead and set um, this. You know what? Actually, just because he did that, I'm gonna attack with Street Fighter. <laughs> just because of that, because I'm a little bit annoyed by that. All right. So now main phase two. We're gonna set that, and then we are going to synchro summon. Go ahead and bring out Gaia. Switch him to defense, and we're good. And then if he attacks the face down, Fearmonger's effect will take place, and I get special summon. <laughs> I'm not technically supposed to shift that. Alright. So he knows some rules, but then forgets other ones. That's funny. All right. I mean, I really don't care either way. He probably thinks that he can destroy that and like inflict something upon me. But so that is for only one monster. Hence. Not sure if that's actually a rule or not, but we're gonna go with it because really, who cares? Um, kind of messes up my plan. Um, <laughs> I'm literally just BSing him. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Um, because if it meant, you know, how, whatever, how many, be a little bit weird. Um, he's obviously going to ignore me. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me either way. He obviously, yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> and... So you can see that either way he was going to do that. Um, doesn't give a shit about what I think. So, you know, that's fine. Um, you destroyed the wrong card. You're an idiot. You're also going too fast because I can't even read the cards. I like that he did all that before. <laughs> um, blah, 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 blah. Dude, seriously, this is actually kind of annoying now. <laughs> So, do I have a card to destroy that? No. I'll probably draw one. So you can see that he sort of had a reason for everything he did. Doesn't care about the actual rules, just wants to get done what he wants to get done. Which, I mean, is fine. If you want to be a crappy player like that, that's cool. You know, it doesn't really matter to me. Can't let you do that, sir. Um, 
Honestly, if the attack is negated... Well, no, he declared it. It says declare, not actually successfully attacked. Ah, perfect card. So we can go ahead... Actually, let me activate this just to give myself another card. Okay, hey. That was, that was perfect. Just in case this backfires. So we can go ahead and... So this is at 3600. And 1200 more would be 4800. So if I added 3600 and 2300, 3600 and 2300, that's 5900. That's enough. All right, let's destroy this bad boy. Oh, I did the math wrong. <laughs> I did his total attack instead of the actual life points they would lose. Eh, whatever. And then I can attack him directly with 2300. And that leaves him with 2300 left. All right. So we're in good shape, as far as I know. Um, he could just activate Dark Hole out of nowhere. But um, unless he doesn't do that, we're good. Um, I'm always glad when I can crush somebody's plan when they start, when they start just saying like showing a middle finger to the rules, um, and then I could crush their plan like that. I'm always very happy about that. Um, very proud of myself, you know. Whenever I can do that. Um, actually, just realized I can bring Jude Fighter back, and I could actually summon a more powerful monster than Gaia. So I think I'll actually do that. That should be fun. I mean, I'm going to let him do it just because, you know, he's an idiot. Doesn't understand the card effect. You seem to not understand your card effect. But whatever. It says a monster. It could mean multiple. My assumption is one. I have a card that does a similar thing where you can activate it and then you can immediately special summon a monster up to level 10, um, you know, ignoring its summoning conditions. It's really detrimental in certain places. Um, oh, okay. Literally just bullshitting him. I mean, he's not going to check. He's just going to continue doing what he was doing. Um, actually, if we look at the levels, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is going to be funny. This is going to be very entertaining. The guy who has no clue what he's doing is going to explain to me his card effect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so at least he did that right. Pretty nice, you know, pretty nice. I'm just, I'm done. I'm like, <laughs> I'm already done with this monster. Just because he can't do anything. Um, and he's going to try to use that effect to protect him. Sorry, I'm pointing at the screen. He's going to try to use this card effect to protect him, but I have a card that negates the attack, so it doesn't even allow that to happen. So, yay, right? Uh, he says it completely missing what I'm saying, but I mean, I expect that. When someone doesn't know what they're doing, they'll, it, but it doesn't say. It. There you go. Nothing says, like, the intelligence level of a person more than the grammar they use in their defense. <laughs> it's really funny. Um... 
it's just it is it's just really amusing. Um, anyway, go ahead. I know he's gonna continue whether I want him to or not. Um, there you go. <laughs> like I know what he's gonna do. Like I get it. You know. That's why I'm already done. I'm just like okay, whatever. Stop. You know, whatever. Basically. Um, <sighs> come on. You can do it. There you go. So that's Yu-Gi-Oh. No, um, I'm gonna kind of go over some other cards here. Um, but this this one didn't really show off the deck that well. So you've got, um, let's see. I'm gonna bring. Let's bring this one to my hand. Let's bring. I'm trying to find like the centerpieces of this deck here. I can bring this one to my hand, and I can bring, where's Dogma? Actually, Command Knight's an important part. So I'm rotting Captain, um, Command Knight, Dogma, there he is. And then uh, Comrade Swordsman, where's he? I know a lot of these monster names because I actually have the cards in print. Um, okay, so this is sort of, the highlights of the, my Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Uh, you got Clock Tower Prison, which if you get four counters on it, you don't take battle damage. Uh, Command Knight, you know, if you control another monster, can't attack it, and increases all your warriors by 400 attack. Rotting Captain, you normal summon it, which is normally what you do, no pun intended, you get to special summon another monster, which could be Command Knight or Comrade Swords with a Landstar, which also increases your warriors by 400. If you summon... If I find a card that allows me a normal summon twice in one turn, I can have four monsters on the field. Pretty nice. Um, does not set me up very well for Dogma though, because you need a Destiny Hero. But if you norm if you successfully summon special summon this monster, and it stays to your opponent's next turn, your opponent's life points get cut in half. Then Dreadmaster, who was summoned by this card's effect, if it has more four or more uh, spell counters on it, um, or clock counters, my bad. Um, you get to the Unlawfully Special Summon him. You can special summon up to two Destiny Heroes from your graveyard, and you can't destroy the Destiny Heroes that turn uh, that it is summoned. And then finally, attack and defense of the card are combined with the original attack of all the Destiny Hero monsters you control. That's kind of the weakness. That's kind of the balancing, because not a lot of Destiny Heroes have a lot of attack. But if you have like something like Command Knight sitting on the field, it really helps. Or if you have. And this is kind of another centerpiece of the deck here. The A forces. Which, when put on the field, all warrior type monsters you control gain 200 attack for each warrior monster you control. So, in this case, Gaia Knight, because he's a warrior, already gains 200. Now we can go ahead and bring this thing back get rid of this and I'm gonna actually show off probably another centerpiece Colossal Fighter that's what I was gonna use creators effect to bring Jude Fighter back so I could summon him this guy is kinda crazy um, I'm not really sure why he left in all seriousness you know what just for everybody's enjoyment why don't we ask him ah he's offline Yeah, he's offline. So that's probably why. Um, so yeah. Uh, he gains 100 attack for every warrior in either graveyard. And when he's destroyed, you can special summon warrior type monster in either graveyard. So, I have two of them. So if I special if I synchro summon one of them and it gets destroyed and then the other one gets destroyed by battle, I can immediately special summon this one. And then it just continues on the cycle. Uh, the other one I have in there is... Um, Xaber Wayne, oh it's alive, three of them. Xaber Wayne, he's just one that I get, if I get Marauding Captain and like Jude Fighter together, I can just quickly get a more powerful monster on the field. Um, and then you can use his effect and special summon one level four lower warrior type monster from your hand, which I guess you could use Comrade for. And then I could either attack with him, or I could then sink or summon Colossal Fighter. So, there's that. I actually just came up with that strategy on, off the top of my head. Another card that I wanted to make sure I showed off. Let me make sure I get some of these cards out of my hand. And then 
yeah. I just want to make sure that I can like show everything. Whoops. I don't know what it was. Uh, oh, Dark Hole. That's the one that destroys all the monsters on the field. But a special card that I found that I actually found when I was making my um, Yu-Gi-Oh deck binder. I'll probably show that in a video at some point. Creator Incarnate. You can tribute the card, and I can special summon one creator from my hand. Normally, it takes two monsters. No? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. yeah, two monsters, and it's a normal summon, so a tribute summon, so you have to do, like, take two or three turns. But with this, you normal summon, create incarnate, and you can immediately send the creator onto the field with 3,000 defense. Um, on that same turn, if you really want to, you can use this effect to bring a monster back. So, you know, that can have some pretty crazy, de that can have some pretty crazy effects. Um, you know, you could use it let's say with Marauding Captain, and if Comrade Swords of Landstar is in your graveyard, you can then use discard a card, use his effect, bring it back, and then you could Synchro Summon Comrade Swordsman and Marauding Captain to get Gaia. So it's like, with the right cards, this deck really works well together. Without the right cards, you're kind of screwed. Um, and then there's Dogma, who just halves the opponent's life points. Um, we can actually look and see what he had in here. Um, this looked really cool. Um, when I killed it so easily, he probably got really flustered. And he was like, oh, I can't do this now. Um, I like this. No, I don't. Wrong card. Where is it? <laughs> I actually do like that. Um, I do like that. Because there are quite a few cards in my hand, in my deck, that I can't use unless there are certain... Um, you know, certain other cards. The only problem with that is he's not a warrior. Why do I only want warriors in my deck? I make a... Um, I have the creator as like the one non-warrior in this deck. There's a reason why. If I can find him, there's a monster that I can actually keep coming back as, as long as all the warrior types are in my graveyard. This guy. Every single time he's in the graveyard on my standby phase, I can special summon him to the field. I actually used this in the duel before this one as a piece to get Dogma. I used Monster Reborn and then Normal Summon the Creator Incarnate actually, and then took all three away and got Dogma on the field. So it is really useful. Um, and then again, you or you could use um, Ronnie Captain's effect. You could uh, sync or summon with him as many times as you want. Again, during your standby phase. So it's a really powerful card. It's a really potent card, I should say. That's why it's so weak. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I could probably feature these like once a week. Um, wasn't that interesting? You know, not a lot happened, but I at least wanted to sort of show off the strengths of the Yu Gi Oh deck that I've sort of created. Um, there are much better Yu Gi Oh decks out there. Oh, I did forget to show off the XYZ cards that I found. This one is a little crazy because if I can get all the four warrior type monsters on the field, I can destroy all cards my opponent controls. Um, and then it has all the other effects as well. And I have to detach um, one XYZ material from this card for each of my oppo opponent's end phases. So for the turn that I have it, and then the next turn, I can do it. People argue that once per turn means only once per your turn unless otherwise specified. It's a dumb argument. It really doesn't mean that. So this one, um, I can negate traps. How cool is that? This one, I can double its attack. Um, I can actually probably use it on my enemy's turn as well, so that's nice. And then this. Um, is that the same one? I just went over it. No. Uh, this one I used the last time. And then I have this fusion card in here, just because I thought it was really cool. Um, it's really, it is, it's really nice. When this card is destroyed, I have an orb by card effect. You can target one level 8 or level M to your fusion monster in your graveyard, especially summon that monster, ignoring its summoning conditions. So, okay, you could not do this one, because it can only, cannot be special summoned by other ways. If it says that, then this last part does not apply. I'm a little bit of a nerd, I'm sorry. You guys probably figured that out already, but... Yu-Gi-Oh! is something I've really enjoyed. Um, 
dueling the DM of the D&D group a couple weeks ago really sort of ignited, reignited the passion I had for it. And then I have a huge binder of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'll probably go over that, go over that whole binder at some point, or probably just the highlights. Um, I could probably list out all the cards that I have, and then if anyone was interested in buying any, I could sell them. Um, yeah. Because I don't need all those cards, and I would be interested in selling them. Um, so if, again, if anybody is interested, please comment. I'm not going to do it unless people actually show interest. So you'll need multiple. I'll need multiple people. Um, sort of comment. So I'd say like, hey, you know, I want to buy some cards. What do you got? And then I would show you. I have them already organized uh, by spell, trap, and then by monster type, and then uh, some Spanish cards that I have as well. And they all fit in the binder. So hell yeah. And then I got some uh, some Pokemon cards as well. I should figure out if Pokemon cards have a equivalent of this, and I can learn Pokemon cards. Magic the Gathering is another card game that I wanted to learn, as well as Ascension. Uh, one of the D and D players from my group on Thursday has played Ascension, whatever that is. It's a card game as well. So I'll be learning that as well. Um, that's about it for me. I don't know when this is going to come out. Um, I assume again over the weekend. Pro probably, um, you know what? Probably Sunday morning. That's when I'll do it. Probably like about 9 or so. Um, Eastern Standard Time. It's not really important, but I just I want to be able to have like some easiness with this. So I'll probably do that. I'll probably film this on like a Friday or Saturday night and then just have it ready um, for Sunday morning. I don't know how long this has gone on, so I apologize if this has been a little bit long. Um, but thank you all for watching. Um, I hope that you all have enjoyed this. Um, if you have any suggestions or you want to see me try a certain Yu-Gi-Oh deck or anything like that, um, obviously leave a comment about that. Any questions about Yu-Gi-Oh dueling in general, you can also leave those. I'll, I reply to all the comments, whether they're spam or not honestly and um that's about it so thanks to og sneaker i don't know who the hell you are but thank you for being the first person i dueled with and you ended up quitting um that's about it for me um i will see you all in uh in the next video